G'day guys, welcome to Highway Caravan Centre. Uh, another walk around video for you today of the superb semi-off-road Crusader Excalibur Serenity. And this has got a side club lounge on the door side of the van. Um, now we're gonna walk through the front end for you. Obviously we've got the uh, 450 MPA steel chassis, superb strength and lightweight. Uh, in comparison to other manufacturers it is a tough ride drs uh, independent suspension and the tear uh, the atm on this van is a 3300 so it's a 21 foot six van tear, uh, uh, atm uh, 3300 we've got 12 pin reverse camera gray anderson plug semi recessed 50 mil ball um, we've got the jockey wheel uh, bolted to our uh, Crusader feature bracket there, which has got the little uh, hooks on for the chains at the front, really handy. Uh, our brake cables in our box section, which runs inside there to protect it from any damage while you're driving. We've got our dual gas bottles and our regulator here, which is protected by the plate, uh, which is a great idea. Now the toolbox is a dual slide out for your generator or your Weber barbecue, one on each side. Now we'll slide this out for you. you and get a baby Weber queue in there. You can actually sit it just under here tighten that down and that is perfectly built for uh, the barbecue there and of course your black checker plate all the way through now the, the serenity's got the uh, window at the front so it's giving you that option to get some extra natural light through the van come alongside we've got the 900 mil wide uh, front tunnel boot uh, absolutely massive space it does use up some of the space under the bed but it's easier to access it here than it is to access the further end the front end of the uh, of the bed or the back end of the bed below the pillow so better off having the space here um, so what we've got is on the inside uh, is our lights as well and there you go 12 volt light inside just a strip light now I can see the we can see the tear weight of this van is 2675 so you've got a 3300 ATM so a really good payload on it as well now just Popping down underneath the van, we can see the independent suspension there. You can also see this six inch uh, A-frame comes right the way back here uh, and our chassis is sitting on top of that there. We've got 295 litre water tanks and a gray as well at the back. Uh, and we've got some extra cross members on the chassis that uh, Crusader do uh, as part of their, uh, you know, offering a better, a better uh, strength, stronger system for you underneath. Large picnic table and we've got a outdoor entertainment unit there so you can bring your TV outside. We've got two speakers, we've got one, two, three LED lights, a large awning with a center cradle to support the extra length of the awning. Reverse camera. Now on this side of the van we've got our gas and electric hot water vent here. We've got our toilet cassette. We've also got the external shower for you. Uh, which is really handy for when you're washing off or you're coming in from the beach or anything like that. Um, we've got our grey water tank at the back and we've got our valve to open that here, which is nice and easy, which is our red valve. And just twist that, let that grey water out um, in a legal dumping place, of course. All right, popping back around to the inside of the van. Now we've got full size queen, be a six foot two queen roughly. Uh, you can increase the size of your mattress if you want to as an upgrade. So if you're a big fella or a, a tall person, uh, you can do that. So we go to from a six foot two to a six foot four and I think a six foot six as well. Uh, now in this model, we've got two Sirocco fans, one either side of the bed. Notice the trim as we start to come up in the ranges with Crusader, you start to get this extra trim here, which just really finishes it off. Just that classier look. Um, deep overhead cupboards we've got the robes which extend right the way back drawers either side inside our recesses we've got a dual power point and 12 volt points in there as well so handy for charging TV bracket is mounted here uh, now coming into the kitchen and the living room we've also got this feature LED lighting at the top on both sides again with your uh, chrome trim and it just looks you know it looks like a, uh, a new new york nightclub it's really uh, you know makes it really picks off um notice when you come in the van you can just see that straight away and it really picks up the design um, we've got a large hatch here again letting more natural light in and i can feel that in here it's a sunny day um but you've got that and again our led uh, roof lights coming down here now notice the roof here we've got a fiberglass roof it's the same on the other side same underneath the, the floor they're both one piece 
roofs and floors insulates superbly well you will feel that um, far better than any conventional sort of uh, material that you use on the floor and being 30 mil thick this roof it's the only uh, piece that they use that's all they need to use you can actually walk on this roof three or four guys can walk on this roof no problem at all and look at the extra clearance we've got i'm six foot tall uh, we've got that extra clearance really feels more spacious in the van so that's great we've got the ibis 4 uh, dometic reverse cycle which uh, is a lot quieter uh, unit that's that's good we've got our oven here which is a fan forced oven three gas uh, one electric fan forced ovens usually cost quite a bit more to upgrade but it's standard in this van uh, we've got our club lounge here and what we'll do is we'll just show you how this uh, maneuvers around so we'll just find this handle here which is at the front and we can literally just turn this table around to suit what we needed to do so if you wanted to go down to a bed you can do that so you can just push the, the, the foot pedal here push that down obviously turn it into the right position and away you go so you've got flexibility there with what you want to do with your seating arrangement uh, sitting down in it we've got the lumbar supports at the back we've got that feature sti stitching there as well uh, so it's a pretty comfortable piece of kit um, and you can get several people around there or use it as a day bed get your feet up at night or have an extra you know grandchild or whatever maybe still staying with the van or one an extra kid uh, plenty of room there plenty of storage here again all ply with the exception of the sides here which are metal of the drawers those runners and everything else are also warranted for 10 years so uh, a really good quality feature of the crusader vans overhead covers with shelves in and we've also got our remote control unit now one of the features of um, Crusader Caravans is we have a remote control it's almost like a light switch with um, six buttons on there and you can control which lights in the van and outside the van you want on at any time being outside you can turn on the bedroom lights if you wanted to so it's control uh, panel is here you actually use it from there if you lost the control uh, or if the power had gone in your van there's no battery power you can actually use the uh, little battery that's in the remote control for the lights for a while so it gives you that uh, bit of time before you can get your battery charged back up uh, dimming switches as well our stereo once you turn that on you can zone it you can switch the zones on and off so whether it's the back end front end or outside you can do that uh, from uh, you know from here so that's good if you didn't want to hear the music inside you want it on outside let's close these over so we've got a microwave down below a lot of uh, people comment on the microwave sometimes can be too high if you're a small person so that's really good for you guys there we've got our pantry and our drawers and our storage here right next to the kitchen so it's good access you're cooking away pantry's right there automatic fridge from Dometic again vented through the roof to get rid of the heat to make it more efficient internal fan to circulate the cold air when we've got temperature sense fans at the back in the cavity as well so when it gets really hot helps get that heat out keeps the fridge cool and operating as efficiently as it should do now the ensuite is large we've got two mirrors uh, here with the doors behind little uh, shelves for your items there and that's really good you don't see that in too many vans LED light below plenty of cupboard space large shower space here and of course your front load washing machine next to your toilet so with solar and battery as well uh, we've got uh, our control unit which we'll look at in two seconds and we've also got this space here just next to the shower which is almost like a pantry for you or an extra pantry you can slot some items in there and they'll stay there forever you got your pocket bump so if you don't bang your head on the way out we've got a bit of storage at the back of the couch so there's two cupboards here um, and then just finishing off uh, we've got our projector uh, control unit now you're able to see as an individual percentage what your battery is doing and what your water levels are doing so it really helps you monitor things you can turn your water pump on from here as well and turn the whole thing off just there press enter and all the lights have gone off so really handy system great layout 21 foot 6 uh, if you think this is the van for you get down here to highway caravan center come and see us uh, let's see if we can do you a great deal and get yourself into a brand new crusader